Hi YouTube and welcome back to another MH tutorial. Today I want to tell you guys about a really neat uh, tool that's available in Maya and that uh, helps you out with modeling uh, symmetrical and cylindrical objects. Um, normally you would go with box modeling and you would take a cube or a sphere and you would manipulate that into the shape you want. So by pulling vertices and you know moving faces and stuff like that. But if you got an object that's uh, cylindrical and symmetrical, there's a really neat and easy and fast way to do that. And that is called the CV curve tool. Now, in order to demonstrate this, I uh, prepared an image of a chess piece that I downloaded from Google. And I'm going to stick that in my, uh, my plane first so I have a reference uh, model to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my four view here, click on it, go and hover with my mouse over the front view and hit my space bar. Now here I want to uh, load in the image that I uh, found. So I'm going to go to View, Image Plane, Import Image. Now I stuck it on my desktop here and I call it Chess Piece. Okay. Now it's a pretty big image so I want to move it out a little bit. So I'm going to go back to my four view, go to my perspective view, and I'm going to change my Z to minus 12 to move it back a little bit. All right. Go back to the four view. Hover over that area in the front view. All right. Zoom out a little bit. Now, what you want to do is you want to trace half of the object with the CV curve tool and make sure it's half and not more than that. All right. So you make sure you're in the polygons menu. All right. Go to create. CV Curve Tool. Now, before you do that, hit the option box. This should be the way it's set up. If not, just click on your Reset Tool and then exit that. Okay, so create CV Curve Tool. I'm going to start up here in the middle and do this as accurate as possible. Okay, so I'm going to do this pretty fast because I don't want this tutorial to take too long, but the more time you spend on it and the more accurate you do this, the better it's going to look. So not to make this tutorial too long, I'm going to do it fast. Sort of. And as I said, any object that's cylindrical and symmetrical, like a candlestick or, you know, uh, the, the leg of a chair or something like that, you know, you can do this literally pretty much in seconds. All right, so I did half of that. When I'm done, I hit the Enter. All right, and as you see, it's turned into a green line. I'm going to go back to my perspective view. And over here, you see the green line. Now, the thing is, when you hit the Revolve tool, this is going to kind of, it's going to revolve this line 360 degrees in a circle, and it's going to create this object. But before you do that, you need to make sure that your center point is actually center, this point here. If this point is over here, and that is possible, and you hit the revolve button, it's going to look really weird. So if this thing is up here, the way to move it is you hit your insert button on your keyboard, which turns it into a little circle. You can grab it and move it, but that's not necessary in this case. So because it's here, it's going to revolve around that point. Okay, so you go up here go to the services menu and then you where is it services you hit revolve all right as you can see it turned into a chess piece I'm gonna hit five to make it solid come on guys why is that not working oh there we go okay and as you can see it's a rough uh, image of a chess piece Okay. Now, before you continue, select the object, hit W to move it, and move it out to the right. Reason is, there's one more line out there. You see it? That one? You have to delete that. And make sure you don't select both because you delete everything. Just delete that one line and hit it. Reason is, that line is rotated 360 times, but you already had one, the one you created. If you leave that in there and you start texturing it, it's going to look uh, horrible. Okay, so that's how you correct an object like that in literally minutes. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Thanks.